is it's going to delete the knowledge of this network. This is not something that the user would need to do. Sure, it's, you're just resetting your laptop yes. to make it think like it's a new laptop. I, I think the important takeaway with you know the, the last demonstration and this one that Yutharta is going to show in a second here is that at no time did you have to actually connect physically. Right, you didn't have to connect a cable. To the device, right? right. And so whether you're talking about adding a new wireless router, right, configuring the new wireless router, sure. or adding a new PC onto that wireless router, or adding a device, which we're not going to spend a lot of time talking about today, but say that wireless picture frame. Sure. If whatever device you're adding, the workflow is the same. It's apply power to the thing, and then go to your Windows 7 PC. Okay. You don't have to connect any cords. You don't have to do anything special, and the workflow is always going to be the same, as we'll see. Yeah. I suppose the one caveat, though, is that you do need to have somewhat ready access to get that, that WPS pin underneath. Only when you but first that's once. set it that's up. A, that's right. the very first just, time. Just the right. first time. Yeah. W what we're going to show now is when somebody else comes into the house, okay. like my girlfriend, and sure. she'd like to connect to this. Okay. What we showed earlier was setting up the network. Okay. So, so the network's now set up. Yes. So when I go to my connections folder again, I can see the network. Right, up the top here. Okay, so this right. is the network you've just created. Yeah. It's easy to identify because you had an uh, opportunity to personalize it. If you didn't, it's your PC name, which is kind of common. You go ahead and click Connect. It's asking you for the security key. Right. And that, that was that 12-digit number yes. Did that you? we just forgot. Okay. It was like WWXX117777. I have no idea. And there's also an option to press a button on the router. Right. That seems fairly simple. So I'm going to ask you to press the, find and press the button on the router. And the okay. important thing here, too, is that Windows identified that this is a router that's capable of this. Okay. If you had an older router that didn't support push button, you wouldn't you see, would this see this thing. Okay, cool. Right. Now, this is, I think this is it here, the push button on the side. Yes. Right. right. Cool, so I press that, and, and now what happens? So you've got to let it sit for about two, three seconds. Okay. We're going to detect that you press the button and get the profile from the router. Oh, so, okay. There you go. That's all you needed. Now, has that just created a... Uh, an open connection or a secure connection? That is a secure connection. So when we set up the router earlier, we set it up to be secure. Okay. And now you've gotten the secure profile from the router. And again, this protocol, uh, you know, just to talk a little bit about the technology, it's not as simple as some other guy sitting there could also get the profile. It's, you know, there are security uh, things that we look at. So this is secure. Okay. Uh, this connection, if there was another PC trying to get the same profile, the router just would not send it. Okay. So, so this, and, and this is in lieu of typing in that 12-digit code. So we're, yes. what we're doing is we're pressing the button and we're saying to the router, you and the PC go sort it out yourself. You go exchange codes and create that secure connection. Yes. Okay. Since the router already has the profile, we're getting the profile from the router. Cool. So the profile that we just received, there's nothing special about it. It's a regular wireless profile. You know, you can do everything that you did earlier with it. And the way to look at it, that is we go here to the network and sharing center, and we go to manage wireless networks. You see your profile right here. Right. So the only new thing was getting the profile. It's a simpler way to get the profile okay. and store it on the system. It's actually interesting to note that um, when we first set up the router, right, the profile was created on Windows and pushed to the router, sure. right, wirelessly. So the router then has this profile. When new PCs come in, they don't have it. And so this whole process of push the button on the router, is now the reverse. The router pushing that profile to the other devices sure. on the network. So Windows configures it, and then from that point, the router pushes it to the different devices. Now, is this a feature that's only going to be available within Windows 7? If I have a Vista or an XP machine at home, can I still press the button to connect them, or they don't have the so, technology yet? So we, we looked at that problem, and you know, typically a home is going to have more than one kind of operating system. Sure. So we, we do have it on Vista SP2. Okay. It is not uh, identical to this, so the user interface is slightly different, but you can achieve the same functionality on Vista SP2. So you know, if you have the latest operating system, Windows 7, when it comes out, or you have Vista today, you can still do this. Okay, but uh, sorry, the point being, this is built into Windows 7. It's part of the, the foundation of right. networking in Windows yes. 7. And, and the great part about building it into Windows 7 is no matter what router you get, no matter what wireless access point you get, you have the same experience, right? So it's easier for everybody. I have this. For some reason, I'd like to get a different one. I go through the same flow. Consistency is simplicity. That's great. Now, 
uh, we mentioned before, this particular device is available to purchase now. Yes. Um, how many routers, I mean, obviously I'm not asking for a number, but uh, the majority of routers that you buy now, are they going to have these features with the, the, push, the press button and the WPS? Yes. The, the majority of new routers, or the majority of routers that you find on the shelf, would have this, and the way we could say that is we looked at you know, last year and the number of routers that were released, you know, number of routers that got certified by the Wi-Fi Alliance, and about 60-65% of those routers support this functionality. Right. And this is an improving trend. So, you know, we see more and more happening every day. We also have uh, the Windows logo program. So for Windows 7, you know, devices that work great with Windows 7, we give them a Windows 7 logo. Cool. This particular technology is a requirement on the wireless router. So any device that you see, with the Windows 7 logo, uh, any uh, wireless router device would support this, and you know, you can be absolutely sure about that because we validate that. And are some router manufacturers, so older routers, people that bought a wireless router, let's say a year ago, before this technology was starting to get implemented, are you finding some manufacturers are updating their firmware? I mean, obviously they can't add a button, they can't put it back on the router, but are there, are there some ways they can kind of compensate? So a couple of them are doing it. However, we require for our logo program, for there to be a physical button, so they don't get certified for Windows. Some manufacturers are going back and taking some of their older stuff and putting a pin. You gotta understand it's, uh, for them too, it's a big change in the manufacturing process. Of course. Because the pin that we just saw never existed. Right. So it's not, you cannot take an older router and just put new firmware on it because there would be no way you could figure out the pin. Sure. Without maybe logging into the UI and looking in the software, but. That doesn't help. Which defeats the, the point of simplicity. Sure. Right? And so um, the key takeaway, I guess, to, to that question that you asked is that more likely than not, a new router that you purchase will support this technology. And there's two ways that you can identify that in retail. Um, one that we advocate because it, again, kind of highlights the simplicity of the whole experience. The first one is that you can look for on the box it will say Wi-Fi protected setup on the box. And it shows a little logo, and this is the logo that the Wi-Fi Alliance has. And it almost looks like that recycle symbol sure. where you have one arrow pointing down and one arrow pointing up. Um, but even better, be, as Yatarth said, that the um, compatible with Windows 7 logo requires this. Okay, great. So if you go and look for a wireless router on the shelf as Windows 7 approaches retail availability and you see a... Um, compatible with Windows 7 logo, and there's only one logo for Windows 7. Very, very simple. Look for the Windows 7 logo, it will support the technology. Even better, if you want to buy devices like a printer or a network media device, like these Play 2 devices out there, sure. um, if they are a wireless device and they carry that same comp 